Hello again, AJ Shaver here with Shaver Sales. Uh, the cold weather is still kind of playing havoc with the battery on my E60, so we're trying to get that fired up. Uh, but in the back of my Ram pickup truck here, we got a new toy, so let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what it is. All right, while well, that's uh, charging up there, um, we have a brand new black splitter. This is the S2 800 model. It's got a little bit more torque in it uh, than the 600. Uh, this black splitter you can uh, put on anything pretty much from like a mini skid steer from your Toro Dingoes, the Vermeers, all the way up to a 12,000 pound excavator. Uh, our E60 is right around a 14,000 pound class machine. I'm really excited to uh, put this on there. Uh, we actually picked up this bracket on eBay, uh, believe that or not, I think it was right about you know, 290 bucks and a couple dollars for shipping. And then we were just over at the hydraulic supply store and got some hoses made up. Uh, the black splitter does come with these little couplers. Uh, the larger diameter here is what actually goes inside the black splitter. And then the, the actual hose piece that we had made up will go on the, the smaller end of it. So basically up here, down inside the case, you see those two plastic plugs. That's where uh, the coupler goes down in and uh, Basically, when you put the bracket together, those four bolts come out. This light gray part here is actually what we're gonna weld on the bottom of the exchange bracket here for the Bobcat. So uh, once things get warmed up, I just wanna take the bucket off the machine and just confirm that that is the right coupler because uh, I've seen a couple different models or versions of it out there. So get things fired up and see what we can do. All right, let's see if we've got this thing charging quite enough. Sooner or later, I'm actually going to get around the change in the battery out on this, but um, see what happens. Give the glow plugs a second. Woohoo! Yay! All right, we'll get the cables disconnected, uh, pull the pin out of that bucket, and see if that coupler fits. All right, so the working theory in my head, it's yet to be proven, so uh, we've got our dual hydraulic lines up here that we're going to tie those uh, hoses and couplers into. We have the Bobcat exchange system on this one. And uh, supposedly down here, we take this pin out, that slides through and that releases the bucket. We bought this machine back in December, but uh, I'm yet to have the bucket off. So we'll, we'll see how this process goes. I'll set the phone down and uh, see if I can't wrestle that pin out of there. All right, well, you other Bobcat guys could have said something. See, I'm used to the, the other machines that we have where they've got the like a work brow kind of coupler where I've got the bucket spun in the other way. So with this one, because of how this holds, I guess we have to have the, the bucket curled all the way out because that takes all the pressure off the pin. And surprisingly, it uh, pulled out of there, well, almost easy. <laughs> Gonna have to put the phone back down. Thought I had it. Okay, that one did it. So just need to pick up on the bucket just to release a little bit of pressure there. So we'll curl out of this bucket and uh, see what it looks like. See if my bracket uh, matches up. All right, well, that's the first time I've had this bucket off of there. It was actually uh, surprisingly easy. Um, I'll go ahead and grab this bracket and see how she fits. Can it be something actually did what it was supposed to do? Even though today is Friday, it sure felt like a Monday. Everything I touched just seemed to go sideways or something happened to it. So uh, it's like this bracket's gonna fit on there pretty sweet. And uh, take it over to the fab shop tomorrow, have my buddy Owen glue everything together. And uh, hopefully by Saturday afternoon or Sunday, we'll uh, be cracking some wood little setup video here just want to spin the camera around and kind of show you the the ins and outs of setting this black splitter up uh, it's been a little while since we actually set one up officially it's about uh, oh, I don't know 15 degrees outside so we came inside the, the shop and uh, let me show you what we got going on all right so first off this is the silver part that we showed you yesterday um, these are three quarter inch bolts that just kind of go into the sides there's four per side and uh, that's where they they go here down the sides. So if you pull those off, that gives you access into the top of the motor. And these were the couplers that we showed you, the, the bigger part and the skinny part. So the big part goes inside the motor. Uh, this, just for reference size, is one inch and five eighths. And I believe these were about an uh, inch or so. We were just using uh, just the, 
the adjustable wrenches to get up on there, but I did have a socket for running the, the big stuff in. Um, of course, we use some hydraulic sealant for the Loctite so that way nothing leaks. And then if you ever get a rupture of hose or something, because we'll use the, the hose wrapping to come up and around, I always mark the hoses. So we have the red one here, kind of corresponds with the red one here. And uh, just in case something happens, you know, which one you've got to take off and change or something's leaking just uh, for troubleshooting purposes, if you ever need to. So Owen is on his way over to help weld up the, the bracket there and uh, we'll get this thing going. Made it back to the shop. Owen just got done welding everything together and uh, we'll see if we can't put the, the last remaining bolts into this to get the two married up and uh, we'll get on the machine and see what she looks like. All right, yesterday when I was up here kind of doing the initial walk around video on this, I misspoke. Uh, I said 12,000 pounds, it should be 12 ton. I was trying to remember in the back of my brain how heavy our machine really is. So uh, the S2800 or the S2680, uh, both are really good machines that go on like your mini skids, your Vermeers, uh, regular skid steers, mini excavators, and it will bolt onto anything up to 12 tons. So not 12,000 pounds, but 12 tons. Uh, I knew yesterday when I said it, it didn't sound right because I said our machine is 14,000 pounds. So uh, just a little video edit there for that one. Uh, but yes, this S2800 will fit on anything up to 12 tons. So let's get this mounted up and see what we can get done today. All right, just parked the truck. Uh, this is the black splitter all installed on the E60. Wanted to check for the proper direction of flow for going into the wood. A little test piece there, came out pretty nice. We just disconnected the, uh, the thumb line. Just kind of bungee strap those up here on the back of the bucket cylinder. Tied into the auxiliary hydraulics. Really happy with how it came out. And uh, move the machine on over to my big discard pile down that direction. And uh, crack up some firewood, see what she does. All right, so this is like the optimum setup. You've got it on the, the end of the excavator. Start in, oh, anywhere six inches to a foot from the end of the log. And then basically what we're gonna do is get this thing to crack like it is. Then you're just gonna take the cone and just work it the whole way through the crack all the way to the backfill blade and those two pieces will pop open. And then you can do the same thing to either of those and just kind of quarter them up. Uh, I got the GoPros are on charge, so as soon as they charge up, we'll come out and do an actual production video, but... All right, well, we're going to call this one a wrap uh, as far as the installation video goes. Um, everything is buttoned up. I'm really happy with how the hydraulics all connected through. The bracket came out beautiful, and uh, we have the GoPros, like I said, are on charge, so we'll get down the house and get those brought up here and do an actual production video probably tomorrow. And, uh, but for right now, I am AJ Shaver with Shaver Sales. If we can ever get you a quote on something like this black splitter or anything else that we have on the property, would really love to be uh, your salesman on this and allow us to get you a quote on anything that we have for sale. If you're watching this video, don't hesitate to call us at 833-SPLITTER. That's 833-775-4887. You can also email me. It's sales at shaverequipment.com. We hope to hear from you soon, and thanks for watching.